Hello and welcome to Iron Deck. My name is Jeremy and today I am going to be cracking open a collector's box of Streets of New Capenna. Before I get started on that, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Grego Gaming, who provided us with this awesome playmat and a couple more, which we're going to be featuring on the channel in the next couple videos. If you'd like to check out Grego Gaming stuff, please see his website at gregogaming.com. Greg is a friend of mine from back in the Dragon Con karaoke days. I will put a link to his store in the description on the store. You can see playmats, stickers. He's got tokens coming out, some games. So please check him out. These playmats are awesome. And uh, you'll get to see them highlighted in the next couple weeks. All right, without further ado, let's get into cracking these collector boosters. I'm really hoping to run into uh, some void snares, I believe. Of course, it'd be great to pull our Planeswalker friend, Ob Nixilis. I'm told that in standard, it's Esper that is really taking over, so... Uh, I'm not fully abreast of what's happening in Standard. I'm more of a legacy vintage player. Here we have our promo, the Gala Greeters. This is a card that has a bunch of different art based on where you are in the world. And if that card turns out to be playable, then I'm sure I'll be hunting all of those down. All right, let's pull these out. And get this show on the road. All right. Pack number one. Last time I did a box opening, I was very unorganized. I'm going to try to do better this time. All right. Let's get through our commons here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Art Deco lands. I am a big fan of the mountain and the plains. This island is beautiful. But as I've talked about on the channel before, when it comes to these new basics, there's... There's so many that I think I'm just kicking back to the old, old original arts. All right, let's see what we've got here. Glamorous Outlaw. All right, Errant Street Artist. Jailbreak, one of the Commander cards. Body Launderer. Well, it's a mythic. Kind of creepy. Obscura Ascendancy. Sanguine Spy. And a lovely treasure token. I don't know if this is a good mythic potty launderer, certainly, certainly grim. All right, pack number two, show me some of that obnixilis stuff. Scoot through these, lovely swamp. Go through our uncommons. Ah, it's Giada. This is a cool card. Um, I don't know how much play it gets in standard. I know this is going to be a commander thing. Life of the party. Park Heights Pegasus. That name cracks me up. The Fleetfoot Dancer. Riveteer's Ascendancy and a treasure token. All right. So I like Giada. I think that's a that's success. Come on. These packs are notoriously difficult to get into. Let, let, let me organize. I'm so bad at this. All right, boom, we've got our mythics up here. We've got our rares of note. Let's get it on. Cut through this. Here is the planes I like. What a beautiful card. Looks just like uh, something from Metropolis. Man, that's gorgeous. All right, let's cut through. These, all right, we've got Evelyn the Covetous. Resourceful Defense, it's cool art. Devilish Valet, I've been seeing clips of this on Twitter and on YouTube of the power of this card getting up into like the thousands. I'm sure that crashes Magic Arena. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see where, where that will go. Ginny Fay, Jetmere's Second, this is also very cool art. Cut your losses. 
<laughs> and an ogre warrior. Let's try to be organized. I'll tell you, I'm looking for that alternate art Elspeth with that super beautiful art deco design. All right, cut through the crap. And we've got another beautiful island. All right, Nimble Arsonus, uh, the unlicensed hearse, which I've referred, I've heard referred to as Tormod's whip, which is hilarious. Unlicensed hearse, I guess it's officially getting a little bit of legacy play, so that's cool. Bellowing Mauler, depopulate. It's a cool card. Broker's Ascendancy with this, this neat art. Oh, and here we go with our first, what do they call this? Gilded Foil. These are stunning cards. I hope that, I hope that it shows on here. My lighting is not awesome when it comes to these. Beautiful card, though. This is, Wizards has really done a good job with these. Hopefully it won't bend and turn into a Pringle immediately. All right. I've lost track of what pack number this is, but we're moving right along. Another swamp. Come on, man. Give me those mountains. That beautiful mountain. All right. We've got a Glamour Thief, a Maestro's Charm. All right. Obscura Ascendancy. Broker's Confluence. Even the score. This is a cool mythic. I wonder if that will ever get the legacy play that I hope it does. It would be great to be playing against elves and just brainstorm and have them draw five or ten cards on you. Hey, it's one of these new tri-lands. I think I've heard them referred to as the tri-cycle, which is pretty funny. Reservoir Kraken. I don't know if this is good. It's a lovely Kraken. All right. Oh, and the best thing you can pull, a fish. All right. Moving right along. How is the video quality on this? I hope it's, I hope it's good. All right. A forest. All right. Shaking it up. Another beautiful bit of artwork there. Let's get Maestro's Ascendancy. Cephalid Face Taker. Cephalid, huh? We're kicking back there. Cemetery Tampering. Agnes. The Dragon's Lash, and Widespread Thieving. Is this a hideaway? All right. That's kind of a dud, I think. I could be pulling cards that are all huge, huge standard. I don't know a lot about the financing of this set, meaning I don't know what's worth what. I just know what I'm looking for. Hey, another lovely island. All right. Let's see. Crew Captain. Wow. That's neat. Lagrella the Magpie. All right. We've got ourselves a mythic, folks. It's Urabrask, the heretic praetor. Does it seem like he always catches the shaft? Like, this is not... He, his, his cards are never awesome. You've got Gingitaxius. You've got Shieldred. I don't know what the green one's called, but... All right. We've got Oscar, the rubbish reclaimer. We've got the black market tycoon. What a lovely cat. Obscura Interceptor, another Cephalid. Oh, and a beautiful Xander's Lounge. Wow, that's a striking card. Got our Grixis. Oops, I'm going to put that there. I don't know why I've left Tormod's Whip sitting here. All right, we'll put him on the stack here. All right. Pack number something. All right. Cut to the land. Another lovely island. Brass and Upside. Ooh, beautiful card. Man. Discipline Duelist. Beautiful. All right. I guess he goes in the stack with the uncommons. Unleash the Inferno. Storm of Forms. That rhymes. Aven Heart Stabber. Is that good? Tenacious Underdog. This seems like a cool card. I don't know if it's going to get any traction, but it's cool. Treasure Token and Agnes the Dragon's Lash. Once again, beautiful art. I don't know if this card is any good, 
The mana value is a hot mess. Oh, I guess I'm also on the lookout for that bird. I forget what it's called, but it's the one that lets you draw a card after the second spell of a turn is played. That thing is seeing play in Legacy Vintage Wild. I hear it's kind of warping, warping the format. Not crazy like uh, your Dreadhorde Arcanus or Ragavans, but it's, it's certainly having an impact. And when something has an impact in Vintage, I take notice. Hey, this is the mountain that I absolutely love. Wow. I think that is going to show up in some of my decks. And that's saying a lot for these basics. All right. Cut through here. We've got Cut the Profits. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, an upside down Beamtown Bullies. I hear this uh, is a commander, commander thing. It does something pretty funny. You can reanimate a creature and give it to one of your opponents. So I imagine, oh, that's a, that's a mythic. So I imagine Phage the Untouchable is back at it. Endless Detour, Sanguine Spy, a second foil depopulate, and a treasure. We've got three packs left, and I'll tell you, this box did not blow my hair back. This one is from your friendly neighborhood, LGS, so this is not the Amazon curse here. Ooh, it's Grand Central Station. Literally. All right, Broker's Charm. Da, da, da. Let's get to, here we are. Hostile Takeover. Scepter of Celebration. Widespread Thieving. Sanctuary Warden. Ooh, a six drop, huh? There's a Mythic. Hey, and a Foil Mythic. The Titan of Industry. That's neat. Oh, and don't forget the fish. All right. Two packs left. Show me Obnixilis. Show me your girl Elspeth. I've got the Elspeth playmat here. Give us, give us some inspiration here, Elspeth. Let me pull your new card. See, I don't like this mountain. I love the other one. This one's just so busy. All right. Broker's Ascendancy. Family's Favor. Wiretapping. Urabrask again, and oh, watch me butcher this. And hello, the painter? It's a nice Grixis 1 3 vampire first instant. Ah, yeah. oh, all right. I like it. Loading up on the mythics, not the mythics I want. All right, let's go with our last pack. Oh, show me the Elspeth Thor. The Obnixilis. All right. La Grela the Magpie. Ooh. Luxor. Luxor? Luxor? Giada's gift. Well, she's hanging out, so I'll just sit her gift next to her here, even though she's not a mythic. Avon Courier. Ha ha. Oh, I've done this wrong. All right. Avon Courier. Jaxus the Troublemaker. Cool card. Unleash the Inferno and it's Avon Heartstaver. All right, there it is. Let's let's fan out these mythics. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mythics, and none that I'm super stoked about. This is what we call an average box. All right. Well, that is that. Let me pull these aside and give you one more look at this beautiful playmat that was generously sent to us from Grego Gaming. And the other side of his card is a lovely emblem for who I believe is Elfbeth. Elspeth. Oops, I lisped. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. My name is Jeremy. This is the Iron Deck, and I will see you in the next one.